Welcome everyone, Mike with Bowers Barbecue coming to you today from Argyle, Texas. Today's video, we're gonna check out 407 Barbecue. It's a place I've gone to before back in 2017 when they're at the old location on the other side of Interstate 35. It was good then, so I'm really looking forward to trying the new place out. But first, we gotta start the fire. Pretty cool logo. Hang out here on the patio. About 10 minutes from opening it up. Pretty cool little place. Restaurant just opened up. Go inside. Very patriotic here. I'll absolutely love that. Also support our first responders. Police badges from all over. We're police, fire, ambulance. So ordering was pretty easy. Went to the counter, let them know what you want. They'll call your name. This place went pretty smoothly. So I had to come outside because it was so loud indoors. But when you order, they ask for your number. So that way if you're outside and they call your name, you also get a text. You don't miss your food. All right, I got the three meat platter. We got Brussels sprouts. Ran into cooking with Cad. He said I absolutely had to, to check those out. Some potato salad. For the meats, we got brisket, hot link, and ribs. Uh, brisket, I did not ask for anything in particular. So it looks like they just gave me some moist fatty brisket. I'm Perfectly okay with that. Let's dig in. First thing is off, we're gonna try the potato salad. They have good sides here, so I wanna go ahead and showcase those as well. Very creamy. It's a potato mustard based potato salad. Potatoes are cooked perfectly, absolutely amazing. Next up is fried Brussels sprouts. A little bit of aioli on there as well. Even if you think you hate Brussels sprouts, you get these Brussels sprouts. <laughs> this is absolutely amazing. Those things are salty, creamy, crispy. Never had Brussels sprouts like this. Maybe I'm sheltered. This is damn good. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and go to the ribs. Last time I came here, the ribs were my favorite thing. These look pretty good today. You know, a lot of times lately, you get ribs and they're overly sweet. These are overly peppery. I love that. The last time I was here, I remember them actually being sweet. Maybe I have a bad memory, but this pepper was very surprising. Very, very solid rib. Some would say this is overcooked, but this isn't competition barbecue. This is restaurant barbecue. I absolutely love it. And a little kick. All right. As far as the sausage goes, I got the um, Texas Hot Link. That looks pretty good there. Now, this is a three meat plate. I know a lot of barbecue joints sell by the pound. They're not me to do about the plates. I personally love the plates. I think it's Probably not really cost efficient for a lot of places to do this, but it's um, it's awesome. Let's make it the Texas Trinity for a great price. I believe with the three meat plate uh, and two sides and a drink, only like $26. You can't beat that deal. I don't know what to think of that. The last time I came here, I got a, uh, just a regular sausage, not the hot link. So I want to try something new. Let me try that again. So it is a hot link, so we got a little bit of kick to it. Um, good casing. The um, the flavor is there. I like the flavor. It's um, it's a very spice heavy, 
so you're gonna get some heat from that. Um, the sausage grind is coarse grind. I typically don't like that, but the flavor is there. I can get past it. Just really a, a texture thing for me. I don't know. I um, I don't know <laughs> how to feel about that. I, I like it, then I'm like, eh, I can maybe try something else next time. We'll see. But um, it's definitely, it's definitely a good sausage. It's just not maybe my favorite one I've ever had. All right, we're gonna look at this brisket here. Get the piece on top. Check this out. Nice, moist, pretty good smoke ring there. Just coming apart. Now, the last time I came here was in 2017, like I mentioned earlier. It was, um, the brisket wasn't the best point of that visit. In fact, the brisket was a little dry, cut very thin. This is the complete opposite of that. I mean, look at this. This is awesome bark. Dig in. Brisket is leaps and bounds better than the last time I had it. Great brisket. I apologize for that, but after having the uh, the hot link, <laughs> the peppered rib, my mouth is a little on fire right now. Uh, typically, heat doesn't bother me, but the older I get, the spice bothers me a little bit more. This brisket is phenomenal. It's fall apart. I mean, this is cooked amazingly. Look at that. That is so awesome, y'all. Unbelievable. It just falls apart. I like that little honeycomb looking thing you get there. This is cooked very, very well. Really good. So unbelievably moist. Um, like I said, good smoke ring, good smoke flavor. I like this. It's been a long time since I've had brisket. I enjoy this much. All right, I'm gonna finish this up. See you guys in a moment. Let's try the sauce out. So a lot of people don't like sauce on the brisket or any barbecue for that matter, and they say a good plate of barbecue doesn't need sauce. I personally find nothing wrong with sauce. It could definitely enhance your meal and provide a totally different flavor profile. It's very good. Pretty good sauce. Complements the meat well. Not very sweet. Pretty good. I like it. It's hot out here. Potato salad really hits the spot. Maybe I should have gone on the other level of the patio where that fan's at. Not always the smartest guy in the world. <laughs> so I first heard about 407 barbecue because owner and pitmaster Ryan McClarty and I frequent a hunting forum together. So it's kind of cool that his barbecue joints in the parking lot of a gun club. Sausage, sausage, sausage. Cooking on old hickory pits here. This is fantastic. Get some of the ribs. They're about ready to come off. Now, just capacity-wise, it takes three pits. Man, that, that was a great meal. That brisket was top-notch. Uh, great hickory smoke. Uh, just fall apart, man. That, that brisket, guys, so, so good. It's been a long time since I've been blown away by brisket. Our ribs were good. I, uh, I talked to Brian, uh, the owner and pitmaster here at 407. He said the rib recipe hasn't changed since the last time I was here. Maybe I just remember it wrong. Um, I'm, like I said, remember it being a little bit more sweet, uh, but this one had a little bit of kick to it. Um, it was good. It was really good. And those Brussels sprouts, man, those Brussels sprouts were top notch. He says that he has people in here hand cutting those every morning and it's, it's labor intensive, but it's definitely, definitely worth it. Um, as you can see here, when I pulled up at uh, 10 minutes of opening, it was about six cars. This parking lot is absolutely packed right now. There's only one negative thing I have to say about 407 barbecue is that they need a bigger flag. I mean, come on guys. Obviously I'm joking. I love the patriotism here at this restaurant. 
you know, sometimes I have to get out of Dallas, I realize that Texas is still Texas, and uh, Brian proves that here out in Argyle. Again, phenomenal barbecue, phenomenal people. Uh, thanks again to Brian for showing me around. He did show me through the kitchen. I didn't film too much. Uh, I know a lot of guys were secretive, but he, he did give me permission to film as much as I wanted to, so um, big thank you to him for that. So come on out to, to 407 Barbecue in Argyle. Let them know that Bowers Barbecue sent you. I thank you so much for watching. I really, truly appreciate each and every one of you for watching. The fire is out.